suit. You can't come in here looking like this. You just go to Morty Sills, tell him I sent you. And that, uh, that's 21. That was the famous lunch scene uh, in Wall Street uh, at the, the 21 Club right here in New York City. Gordon Gecko uh, always uh, sharply dressed and giving Bud Fox uh, some advice. Um, do you know, I think it was, did Churchill say only a cad would wear a brown suit? I mean, Charlie, but he did look horrible, Charlie Sheen, before, and Gecko looked much better, but Gecko was not a good person. No. So I don't it's, know if that's who we want to emulate. Clothes don't make the man. Anyway, Wall Street is uh, going casual, and Robert Frank, I said, um, he's going to tell us uh, about the death knell of the suit, and I said, but Robert, you need to wear a suit and keep it buttoned up, I told Becky, because of the Superman outfit underneath uh, the suit that you need to put right, don't you? <laughs> Got to keep it all together, Joe. For the phone booth. Yeah, so do, how do you find funny. a phone booth these days? <laughs> you, 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 there are no phone booths left, Joe. Um, you know, Morty Sills, who you just mentioned from that Wall Street scene, he was a real guy. He was one of the top tailors in New York in the 80s and 90s. And he dressed Carl Icahn. He dressed Teddy Forsman. He, sadly, he passed away in 2001. And many feel the suit could go the same direction. Goldman Sachs announcement this month that it is going casual marks the official end of an era for all these suit makers and haberdashers that dressed those masters of the universe for decades. Suit sales falling to just 11 million last year nationwide. That's down from 13 million in 2011. And they're expected to fall even more to 10 million in the next few years. We have said for a while, if Goldman goes casual, there's gonna be a problem because Goldman is, is such a bellwether uh, for, uh, for the market and is such a trendsetter among other firms. I think once a firm as prestigious as Goldman says we're going casual, that's kind of the last domino. And I think we'll see a lot of the other holdouts begin to very quickly adopt. So the future of suit making probably looks a lot like this. We're at Michael Andrews Bespoke in downtown Manhattan. They had dozens of Goldman clients, but they are still one of the fastest growing in the industry. And they've got a three-part strategy. The first is they are consolidating. So a lot of these guys are going out of business or being sold to others. Michael Andrews just bought the oldest suit maker in New York called Cozen and Sons. And they are going casual. So this, guys, is the new power suit on Wall Street. It's a sport coat, often patterned with jeans. So Michael Andrews doing custom jeans and sport coats. And also, they're doing a lot of events. So you've got weddings, and the millennials love to dress up for going out. And they've made just buying a suit a lot more fun. So you used to go into New York City, and some of these tailors, they were very cramped. They were drab. And some guy would tell you what you're going to wear and how much you're going to pay. This is like a club. They've got these big, plush dressing rooms. They've got couches. They've got a bar so you can sit and drink your whiskey and order your $1,800 sport coat. Guys, back to you. Robert, I have to say, and I've, I've said this before, I think the, the Goldman announcement doesn't mark the start of a turn to a new trend. It's really them just updating with a public uh, announcement where things already were. And I don't think we'll suddenly see all these investment bankers change what they're wearing. They already kind of come in semi-casual, but they put on the suit and tie when they meet a client. And I don't think that's new. That's been the case for sort of the last, the last decade. I, Everyone's using this Goldman announcement to, to mark something new. I, I think it's kind of catching up with an announcement of a trend that's already existing. Well, no, it's, it's a great point, Wilf. I would say this, that Goldman was the last holdout on Wall Street for the suit. They still had a dress code where Goldman Sachs executives felt like they needed to come here and to other tailors to buy the suit. What's happening now is Goldman executives are coming here they're not getting the suits, but they are getting these sport coats and the new look. So, they, the, yes, the trend has been happening, but Goldman was kind of the last bastion of the suit, and that's now going away. You know, we'd, we have CEOs and really well-heeled guys that when they come on, a lot of them do it because they can, which is kind of annoying, But right? They, they get into a position where they don't have anyone that, uh, any authority over them. But it's never going to go away. When you're going to meet a client, if you, one guy's, I don't know, it just, there's a but, time and place for a suit. But still. that's totally what I, I'm saying. Yeah, it is. If right. you go time outside the Goldman Sachs office or any of the big investment bank office, when people are walking in before they're meeting the client, they're yeah. not wearing their jacket, they're not wearing their tie. Those are hanging up at work. Just so wait, so, so nothing's will. changed on that, right. on that note. And, when, and, and if you look at the David Solomon announcement, still very much said, when we're meeting our clients, you've got to dress, yeah. dress suitably. So I, I, I really just think the announcement was catching up to where what we was already, already happened. Yeah, which has already yeah. happened.